Hello everybody, Chris here with another video explaining redstone. Now, you, as you can see, I have this whole, uh, was just mad crap set up everywhere, and I'm gonna, I'm going to explain it to you. So, let's, let's start with one of the most basic redstone logic gates. Oh, by the way, I'm going over and or, and gates, or gates, and inverter gates. Let's start with inverters, one of the most basic. Basically, what an inverter does is it turns the input into... Like, it takes the input and makes the output the exact opposite. So, if I hit this switch, as you can see, the torch turns off. Now, I could use this to power blocks. But I'm not going to because I didn't give that nearly enough space and it kind of would mess with my end gate. Um... Next, we're going to go over OR gates. This is the type of OR gate that I use, and this is the type of OR gate that most people use. Now, an OR gate works by making it so that if either of these two inputs are on, or both of them are on, the output will also be on. So if I hit this switch, it'll turn it on. If I hit this switch, it'll turn it on. If I hit both the switches, it'll stay on. And in all other cases, it'll be off. Uh, what most people do is this, because, I, I don't know, they just do, because it's much easier, it doesn't take repeaters. The reason I use repeaters is, uh, I don't want the current coming from this input affecting whatever sort of redstone-y stuff might be on the other side, so I kind of, I make sure that that can't happen by putting one-way repeaters, and as you can see, that's not affected. Do, do it whatever way you want. Now, OR gates can be extended quite easily to have just really as many as you want. You know, I mean, just hit one of these switches, it'll work from any side. If any of them are on, the output right here will be on. Now, this over here is my AND gate, my uh, one-way AND gate with uh, OR gate, sorry, OR gate. Meant to say OR gate there. This here is my one-way OR gate. <laughs> Did, was I saying AND over there? I don't know, I meant OR. Anyway, this is my one-way OR gate, uh, extended to be modular. If any of these are on, the output will be on. Alright. Now we're gonna move on to AND gates. This is the most basic and commonly used AND gate, because it's the one on the wiki. And what you do is you hit one of these switches, and nothing happens. You hit the other switch, nothing happens, but if you hit both switches at the same time, the output will turn on. And if both switches are off, of course the output will be off. This is pretty simple AND gate, used for a lot of stuff. Remember, this torch has to be sitting on this block, or it won't work at all. And AND gates can differ quite a bit. This is, a uh, this is a little AND gate that I invented that you can just hide inside of your wall if you want to, you know. Input 1, input 2, output. Tell me if you find a better one, because I think this is way more compressed than the one on the wiki, and I like it. Um, this here is a three-way AND gate that comes from three different directions. Now, I realize that this isn't the most efficient way of doing the AND gate, and I will explain that to you very soon. So, as you can see, you hit all three of these switches and the output is on. If a single one is off, the output will turn off. Now, I've done this very funky, I realize that, and this over here is why. This is how you make a modular AND gate, that you can just stick a whole bunch of them together if you want to make like a binary converter or something. Um, and the way this works is, uh, all of these inputs have to be on, and then they will connect to the inverters, and the inverters will power this redstone up here. Any of them will. So if all of them are off, then this redstone will turn off, and it'll turn the output on. Now, over here I have another version of this, but it's... Like, this one is designed to fit kind of inside a wall, 
this one is designed to fit inside your floor and what it does is well this it's the same thing all of the inputs are on, the output is on any of the inputs are off outputs off ah, god, I've just forgotten what I was gonna say oh yeah, this is a this is a design that I use quite often now, AND gates can be tinkered with quite a bit they're very easy to make for instance, like this just ha these inputs have to connect to an inverter which will power redstone that leads to another inverter that leads to the output. That is how an AND gate works. It's very simple and you can use that to make your own if you need to compress it a certain way or something. Because I can't very well do all variations of an AND gate. Now this is a silly little combination system which is terrible that I just set up to demonstrate all this stuff. If I turn both of these up. So let's, uh, let's hit the combination. That's not the only combination too. I can also have this one or I can have both. Now what I've done is I have an OR gate over here. It's not one of my OR gates because I wanted to compress it a little bit. And that leads to this AND gate, which is also fed by this AND gate over here. So for it to turn on, both of these inputs have to be on, and at least one of these inputs has to be on. So I hope that my little lesson here on redstone was informative to you. If it was, I will keep making them. If it wasn't, I will keep making them anyway for those people who it did inform. But until next time, bye.